It's a sale! Yes, very exciting. We've got a sale here, and if you notice, it's 60% off. I want to focus in on the original price of $20, and we want to figure out the sale price of $8. So we're going to go through the steps on how to do that. To start off with, notice that we've got 60% off. That means if we're not paying 60%, there's 40% left over. Those two numbers add up to 100%. So in particular, that's our discount, and that's the percent that we're actually going to pay. Hey, that's the first answer on the worksheet. Notice also that our original price, price was 20, and you end up paying 8. So let's see, we're going to have to take um, that eight dollars that we're paying, we need to add twelve to that. That's going to give us twenty. So we've got the second answer on the worksheet. You saved twelve dollars. Let's figure out how we got these answers. We can start with the tape diagram method. As always, we're going to draw our picture down here. We've got 0% over here. We've got 100% over here. We've got 0 up here. And what we know is the original price. That's the whole. So we're going to put the 20 up there. We also know that we are saving 60%. So it makes a lot of sense down here to count by 20s. So I've got 20%, 40%, 60%, and 80%. And I will draw my lines to see how many boxes I have. I have how many boxes? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to take that 20 and divide by five. And I'm going to get fours. Four, eight, 12. 16. And all of our answers are now up here. If it's 60% off, then we know that we're going to be taking $12 off the price. And if we're paying 40%, that means we're going to be paying $8. So remember, that's where we got those two numbers before. We got 12 plus 8 equals 20. And if we're thinking about what those are, that 12 is the discount. And that 8 is the sale price. We're going to do that again, but now we're going to use a fraction method. And when we do that, we can think about both percents that we have. So I know, for example, that we've got 60% off. So let's write that as a fraction. 60% is 60 over 100. And remember, my original price was 20. That's a whole. There's an easy way to get 20 from 100 by dividing by 5. Divide by 5, divide by 5, and we get 12 over 20. Yay! We know that, that our discount is $12. But we can also do this again using the 40% that is our sale price. So that is 40 over 100. We can divide by 5 again, and we get 8 over 20. And that right there is our sale price. So, 
if we want to figure out why these ads are giving the numbers they do, we've got the percent, we've got the original price, and we can find the sale price. Either by finding 60% of our whole and saying we got to discount that much, or by saying we're going to be paying only 40%, there's my whole, that's how much we're going to pay.